Hey guys, welcome back to the Illinois Southern Short Line. Um, it's been a while since I uh, made a video, but it's it's pretty normal. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, I got a couple of things to show you this morning. Today is the December 21st, uh, 2014. Um, I got a couple of things to show you. Uh, the first, one of the first things is I completed my uh, yard for the layout, um, Blair Yard. Uh, I named it after my grandparents. Um, and uh, I started messing around with um, weather and rail cars. Uh, I saw a couple videos uh, that uh, Model Railroader did on uh, using like acrylic paints from Walmart pretty cheap way to do it. I don't have an airbrush. I eventually will, but right now I'm, I got too much things to, to worry about other than an airbrush. Um, but uh, it's amazing what a little 70% alcohol and a little brown acrylic paint, a couple of drops of that will do to a rail car. I'll show it. I'll show you here in a second what I mean. Um, but I have uh, Blair Yard uh, complete. Um, it's not the biggest yard in the world, but for the uh, Illinois Southern Short Line, it's it's perfect. And uh, with this yard, there's going to be a lot of uh, rail cars coming in and out, uh, a lot of moving around. Uh, there's not a lot of room for them. So they have to make do with room, uh, with not uh, make do with the, uh, not having much room. Uh, I'm kind of stuttering on my words this morning, but uh, but anyway, um, I said I'll have a, a diesel fueling track. I got a, a pipe stuff building down there that I got completed, a little engine shed. Um, but other than that, uh, I'll show you what I've been up to. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, I also want to make a shout out, uh, take a shout out to uh, Derek Class. Uh, I just watched your uh, your Christmas uh, video uh, about a half hour ago. It was a it was a very good video, and uh, if you guys have ever seen his videos, uh, uh, please. Please watch them because they're uh, they're pretty good. The layout that he's building is is uh, pretty insane. Um, so, uh, any, but any further ado, uh, let's uh, I'll show you some cars and uh, show you the yard here. So uh, just hang on one second. All right, guys, this is uh, Blair Yard. It's not the biggest yard in the world, but uh, this is this will be the main line here, and then these one, two, three, and this little one here four will be the uh, rival departure tracks, and um, the main line trains come through, drop off a few cars at a time, and the main line trains take off, pick up, and set out um, whatever they need to. But um, but anyway, uh, these are the rival departure tracks. Uh, right here where these cabooses are, and then this one engine is going to be the uh, refueling track. Uh, so I'll have some uh, little pumps and stuff like that, hoses sitting off there, and I'll weather it real down real good with uh, diesel fuel spilt all around and stuff like that but um, here's the other end of Blair Yard uh, these are uh, just um, stub in uh, tracks uh, it'll hold quite a few tracks but uh, uh, each track will be a designated uh, um, designated um, for one industry on the layout um, that takes quite a few cars so 
Uh, but anyway, uh, on to the uh, uh, engine uh, facility. Um, here's the Pike Stuff building that I built. Uh, I painted it and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. But uh, I put some um, looks like concrete down and stuff and and here's uh, the the old Rock Island uh, IS number 501. Um, I weathered it. It's amazing what alcohol, 70% alcohol with a little paintbrush, and that's how I weathered it. Um, just took a little alcohol, milk, 70% um, alcohol mixed with a uh, little brown acrylic paint from Walmart, put it on a brush, and just brushed it on everywhere. So I think it turned out really good. So, and then, you know, the top here with stains, you know, smoke stains and stuff like that. It really turned out great. I'm pretty happy with it. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, the sanding towers where the all my engines will sit and when they're not on assignment and stuff like that. There's uh, I nose. IS number 500 and a little Mopac transfer caboose and a uh, little IC emblem on top of the sanding towers. So, and here's uh, my old Missouri Pacific switcher um, that I uh, detailed. I weathered and uh, yeah, you just take a um, 70% alcohol and a couple drops of uh, brown acrylic paint and brush it on there and it makes it look grimy and uh, if you look I got some uh, oil spilling or smoke and stains and stuff like that and it's running down the side and puddling up on the walkway there and um, hopefully this focuses good enough and uh, you know made some stains and stuff here on top and on the walkways you know you can see a little bit of a brown stain and on the trucks it's really stained up that's the camera's not doing it justice but um, I think it turned out great and I got a couple of rust uh, spots right there hopefully this thing focuses but yeah it looks it looks good pretty happy with it. it's amazing what a little bit of uh, paint and alcohol do to a, a car and uh, here's uh, some other rail cars that I uh, weathered um, with some of the alcohol and stuff like that just brushed it down real light it's a little IC box car with some rust around the doors and on top and here's a covered hopper just grimed it up another hopper and a Mopac hopper but uh, they turned out pretty good just took that little brush and wiped down everything on the trucks and just grimed them up looks pretty good and down here, there's five box cars I did. A old GMO Golf Mobile in Ohio box car, ICG box car. So made them look old and used up. Old rail box box car. So, but anyway, this is, uh, this is the yard here. I think I'm going to, you guys, uh, I have so much, I got so many places on the layout I have to work on. And, uh, I think I've been talking to quite a few people. I think I'm going to start at one spot and work my way out. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to do, uh, 
just start at one spot. I got so many different spots I have to work on. This layout is going to be huge for a little short line. And, uh, but anyway, um, but that's all I got, guys. Um, yeah, give me a, a couple of uh, comments if you want. Uh, I'm sorry that it takes me forever to re-comment and, uh, and uh, re uh, you know, uh, when you make comments down there, it takes me forever to respond to you guys. And uh, I apologize for that. But um, anyway, that's it, guys. That's Blair Yard. That's one. This is the main yard that's going to be on the layout. It's not all that great. I mean, it's not all that big, but uh, it's little. But there's going to be a lot of rail cars coming in and out of this place. So, uh, without further ado, uh, you guys, uh, uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and and uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't have a good camera like other people do it. I do it on my phone, but eventually I'll have a, a nice camera to do some editing and stuff like that. So uh, my next video, I'm going to do some uh, uh, moving some cards around. So, uh, but uh, anyway, I'm kind of rambling on, so I apologize. And uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Bye.